the supply chain crisis haunting the holiday season as shoppers are already battling empty shelves and canceled orders just two weeks away from Halloween. And with toys in high demand, prices are up as much as 10%, causing small businesses to get creative. Joining us now is Greg Ranke, and the, he is the co-owner of the Halloween-themed store. I'm not saying that right, Ranke. Ranke's it. Ranke Brothers in Denver, Colorado, and Teresa Duncan, the owner of, I gotta say, this is my favorite Toy Store name, Villa Villa Coola um, Toys. If you watch, if you read Pippi Longstocking, you know that. In Fernandina Beach, Florida. Welcome to both of you. I'm going to start with you, Greg. What are you doing? Sure. I mean, Halloween is right at our doorstep. A lot of people like to order their Halloween costumes last minute. How are you weathering um, these problems? You know, um, we're a year-round store, so we've ordered back in uh, January. We've got most of our stuff for this year. But next year, I think it's going to be a real, real problematic on getting uh, inventory. Okay, and, and, and are, so people are able to order last minute for you, and, with you, and get their products in time because you got your stuff early. That's right. Right okay. now, we, we have a pretty good inventory. We've got a, a, a lot of stuff that people can get, but the supply chain, absolutely, it's going to become a problem. In fact, right now, several of the uh, uh, major manufacturers have gone bankrupt. Yeah. Uh, so it's going to be problematic to get things later. Yeah, absolutely. Well, let's take a look at this. These are the freight costs from China to the U.S. In, in January, it was $6,380. Um, it's now $30,000 um, here in September to, to for those same for the, that same shipment to come to the United States. Um, I'm going to talk to you, yeah. Teresa. Tell me, what are you doing with these kinds of price increases, and does that make you want to or wonder why we're not producing more of these toys here in the United States? Sure, um, excellent question. Actually, because um, of the increase in freight charges, it's actually giving our American-made companies a little bit more of a level playing field that they didn't have before. So we're finding, um, we're shifting our buying strategy to buy more things that are made in America and finding that we can move those a little better than we were able to previously. Are you actually labeling those things made in America? Because I know as a parent, I would love to buy American-made toys. Sure. Um, most of the products do have labels. Uh, we, I think the sentiment is that most people do want to buy American made, but previously there was just such a difference in pricing between an American made mm -hmm. toy and a Chinese made toy that that was really hard for us. But now because the cost of Chinese made toys is going up so much, we're able um, to really communicate that value of the American made toys better. Yeah, I mean, it's a silver lining because we're getting those American toys, but the higher prices are, are not good. Um, Greg, I'm going to end with you. Tell me um, really quick what would be your best advice. As you say you're going to be facing these supply chain problems next year, what would you say to Pete Buttigieg, our transportation secretary, and Joe Biden? Um, what should they be doing right now? What do you want as a, as a small business owner? What they need to do is start uh, just making things happen, get things back on, on course. Um, one of the things that I say is that as an American, and especially an American business, we become very creative. We need them to just get out of our way and let us do our job. And we've been doing it for 53 years, at least we have, and we've been very successful doing it. And all of a sudden, we're getting into all kinds of government issues, and we just don't need them in our way. Yeah, asking big government to get creative. Wow. That's a tall order. <laughs> All right. Uh, the, creati uh, yeah. <laughs> the creative people are starting businesses. Um, they're not going into government. All right. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. We wish you all the best and much success and profit um, coming into this holiday season. Thank you for joining thank us this you. morning. All right.